years in Nairobi is now over. National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula has announced that the members of parliament will start relocating to their new offices from Thursday, the 11th of April. That's tomorrow. Now, the MPs will locate in two phases, starting with those currently occupying KICC and Hazina Sako Plaza, followed by those at Continental House from the 1st of July. Serfin Achieng Oma brings us more. The multi-billion shillings Bunga Tower in Nairobi is now ready for occupation by legislators nearly 14 years since its commissioning. The confirmation by National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula comes barely 10 days after Citizen TV did a report about the long wait of the construction of the 28-story building, which was supposed to have been completed within three and a half years and occupied by 2016. Eight years later, Citizen TV recently obtained exclusive access to the building. The inside view giving one the indication that construction work is still far from over with some crucial flaws still inhabitable. The handing over deadline was first shifted from 2016 to 2018, then to 2020 and further to 2022. On 9th of April 2024, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula confirmed that the Parliamentary Service Commission is expediting the completion of the Bunge Tower to address the office accommodation deficit by MPs. In his communication, Wetangula announced that MPs will begin to occupy the offices at the new tower from Thursday, 11th of April 2024. Phase one of the relocation will involve MPs currently with offices at Hazina Sako Plaza moving to their new offices at Bunge Tower. Their offices are by their colleagues relocating from KICC who were unsuccessful in the balloting for offices in the Bunge Tower. MPs with offices at KICC who are allocated offices in the Bunge Tower are to be relocated to their assigned offices in the Bunge Tower. Phase two of relocation will begin on 1st of July 2024 and will involve MPs currently occupying Continental House who are allocated offices in the new tower. Other MPs who are not allocated offices in the Bunge Tower will be given alternative accommodation in other buildings within Parliament Square. The statement by Wetangula comes following a recent report done by Citizen Television, which also highlighted the shift in costing of the project, whose initial contract was to cost 5.89 billion shillings in December 2013 and has since moved to 9.26 billion shillings as at March 2024. The multi-billion shillings building, fitted with a set of luxurious amenities, including a gym, a beauty parlor, and a restaurant, is expected to be officially opened by the head of state later this month. Safin Acheng Oma, Citizen TV.